Actually, I need to make sure you're recording because I swear if you're not recording. Okay. Whoa, almost died. Oh my days. That was terrifying. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm still alive somehow. So today we're going to be diving into the amazing world of motion capture or mocap for short. I'm going to take you through the entire process from an actor's performance to the final CGI product. So in this video, we're gonna be using the Rococo motion capture suits. Yes, I know it sounds like this is sponsored. It's not sponsored, but Rococo, if you like what you see, call me, yeah? Please, no, no, like seriously, please call me. So we're gonna be showing you how to use a Rococo mocap suit and bring that data into Unreal Engine 5 and render out a final animated scene. It's gonna be a good time, so stick with me. And without further ado, Let's get into it. Now, first off, what exactly is motion capture? Well, it's a technology that records the movement of people, animals, or even objects. In films and video games, it's used to create incredibly realistic animations by capturing an actor's performance. It's pretty goddamn stupid. And translating that onto a digital character. Now, motion capture has revolutionized the way that we can use digital characters, bringing them to life with stunning realism and, I mean, compared to previous techniques, relative ease. I mean, I'm not kidding. This shit has saved the sanity of so many animators. I mean, when we were up at 3 a.m. animating a dude's leg, frame by frame, just so it looks right, trust me, you do not want to go down that path. I am still recovering. Probably never will. Now, motion capture is used in everything from blockbuster films to triple A games. It allows for incredibly detailed and lifelike animations, which can be especially important when you've got characters, whether that be in a video game or a movie, that you have to have express emotion in a realistic manner. Films like Avatar or the video game The Last of Us. These are just some examples where motion capture was able to elevate the emotion delivered by these characters. R.I.P. Daddy Joel, take him from us too soon and too sexy. I mean, look at him. I'd let him destroy. Now, like I said, we're gonna be using a Rococo motion capture suit to capture our performance. So let's see how this works. Now, this suit is packed full of sensors, which is gonna record every single movement that I make. It's super lightweight and allows for full range of movement, which is what you need when you're trying to capture a performance. So now that we're all set, let's capture some data. So as you can see, the motion capture suit captures every movement from the large grand scale to the tiny little subtle ones. But you see, this is only half the battle. Now it's time for facial capture. I'll be using the brand new Rococo headset to hold my iPhone in front of my face for this. And I'll be capturing all of my expressions using the Live Link app, which you can find on the App Store. And now what's special about this app is that it works with the brand new MetaHuman animator in Unreal Engine 5. So unlike other facial capture technologies that use your phone, instead of it just using the front-facing camera, it also uses the depth camera which your iPhone uses to scan your face to allow you to unlock your phone. It then takes the data from the camera and the depth camera and overlays them, generating incredibly realistic facial animation without needing any of the markers on your actor's face that you might see for like Gollum in The Lord of the Rings or the Navi in Avatar. This is a game changer for indie creators because it allows us to have industry level quality without having to break the bank. So next up, we need to translate all of this performance onto a digital character. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring all the data into Unreal Engine 5 and apply it to a metahuman. Metahumans are incredibly detailed characters that can be fully customized to whatever you need for your project. I mean, check this out. That's incredible. And it's for free. And to be honest, I'm a bit jealous because I mean, those lips, man, I wish I had those. Mamacita. So, listen, before you insult me in the comments, I'm very aware I'm not funny. Just allow me to continue in my delusion until this all crashes down. Now, of course, motion capture does come with its own set of challenges. It requires really precise calibration. It can sometimes be quite tricky to get right. And I mean, I've definitely encountered a few glitches along my way. But the benefits are huge, I have to be honest. It allows for realistic nuanced performances that would be nearly impossible and a pain in the ass to do the traditional way. Plus, it can save a lot of time and effort in the long run. God knows I'm running out of that shit. 
And there you have it guys, from the suit to the screen. That is how motion capture can bring a digital character to life. It's an awesome blend between technology and artistry, which continues to this day to push the boundaries of what's possible, both in filmmaking and game development. Thank you so much guys for joining me on this mocap journey. If you enjoy this video, please sure to like the video, subscribe, maybe even turn on the bell so you are notified every single Saturday when I post a brand new video. I've got lots of new content on the way. I'm really excited to show it to all you guys. And also let me know in the comments which part of this video was your favorite. Are there any type of videos you want to see specifically? I really want this to be a back and forth between myself and you guys. I love talking to you guys. I want to hear your opinions. I want to hear your ideas. Let's build a really cool community and let's build this channel to be something really cool that we can all be proud of. But until next time guys, in a bit lads. Thank you.